What's up everybody, it's Alex from Everything for iPod. I'm here with the Nexus 7 and I'm doing a little video on tips and tricks on the Nexus 7 as well as Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. This is running Android 4.1.1 um, which is Jelly Bean and I'm really excited to start using it. The review will be coming in a little bit but for now I'm just doing these kinds of videos showing you around the device, some tips, stuff like that. So this video is tips and tricks. So I have five tips and tricks for you to learn with this, whether or not you have it. If you have it, you can follow along. And if you're just looking into buying it or just want to learn more about it and have no interest in buying it, you can just watch and see how things are done. So the first one, or the first two are actually pretty simple and you might already know them from previous versions of Android, but um, I'm going to do them either way for people like me who are new to Android and just figuring these things out. The first one is how to take a screenshot, so that's really easy to do. On the side you have your volume button and your power button, so you're going to hold down the volume down and power until it screenshots and it will save to your gallery. So to go and view it, you're just going to go to your apps and go to the gallery app. And in there you can see all of your albums. So all the way back I can see downloads, scrapbook photos, screenshots some other things so just go into screenshots and here are all of your screenshots and then from there you can go ahead and share it to a bunch of different services or you can trash it just by hitting sorry that's the notifications just by hitting the little delete button and it will go to the trash and um, actually I don't know why that went to the trash oh there we go delete the selected item okay and that's that tip so the next one again really simple is how to change the wallpaper. So instead of going into settings, you can just hold down in an empty spot of your home screen and you can choose from your gallery pictures, live wallpapers, so I have some live wallpapers downloaded, or um, just the stock wallpapers that come on it. You can select between these. As of right now, I have a live wallpaper enabled and that is the phase beam wallpaper. So you just go ahead and set that and that's an easy way to set your wallpaper. The next one is how to get to kind of an easter egg hidden in, the oper hidden in the operating system. You might have seen it before but you don't know how to get to it. It's located in settings and it's just a little jelly bean easter egg which I'll show you. You'll get it in a minute. So go to your settings. I'm going to do so just by pulling down the notifications bar. And then in the main menu and settings go all the way down to about tablet. And you'll see Android version 4.1.1. So if you triple tap really fast and it, you have to do it pretty fast. So there we go, you'll have this big jelly bean that pops up. If you go ahead and tap it, a little face comes up on it and it says Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. If you go ahead and hold that, a bunch of flying jelly beans will pop up and you can go and play with them, throw them around. So um, I've seen this many times before, but I didn't actually know how to get to it. So I just was playing around in settings and finally figured it out. So that's how to get to the jelly bean Easter egg, if you want to call it that. Okay, there's another tip that, it's not really a tip, but something you may not have known, is that when you buy the Nexus 7, it actually comes with quite a few free things. The first one is in the Play Store. You can, um, you get free credit to use in the Play Store for apps, music, magazines, movies, TV shows, books, anything in the Google Play Store. You get a $25 free credit when you first log into your Google Play account on the Nexus 7. It takes like 20 minutes to show up, but once it does, you'll see that you have a $25 credit. I can't show you on the actual device, but the screenshot here was taken on my Google Play account on the computer, and I have $21.22 of that $25 left. And some other free things as well is if you go into your Google Wallet app, which uses NFC technology and you can pay, I'm just gonna enter in my PIN, and I blocked that out because my email address showed up. Once you get in, you can go to the main menu and hit payment cards. And when you open this for the first time, it will take a few minutes to activate. But once you do, you see that you have a $10 MasterCard debit prepaid card in there. So you can go ahead and try this NFC technology out at any store that uses NFC, which actually you'd be surprised a lot of stores do use this technology. And you have 10 free dollars to spend anywhere you want. So 10 free dollars plus the 25 free dollars in the Google Play Store. You also, if you go ahead and go into your videos, movies and TV, uh, pre-installed you have trans Transformers Dark of the Moon, so you can go ahead and watch that. And also in the books application, if I can find it, 
Um, I know it's not under, I think it's under like magazines or playbooks. You get a free book, uh, Born Dominion, so you can go ahead and read that. So it comes with four free things, which is really awesome. And the last tip I have for you is, you can see it has a front-facing camera, but there is no rear-facing camera on the Nexus 7. And if you look around, sorry, I just need to readjust that. If you look around in the applications, you can see that there is no dedicated camera application. So they put the front-facing camera in for Skype, but if you want to take pictures with it, um, of course you can use it for like Instagram or anything, but if you want to take pictures just to save to your device with it, you can go ahead and search for an application called, oh uh, sorry, not Flash Player, um, Camera Launcher. And when you search Camera Launcher, you get this Camera Launcher for Nexus 7. It is free, made by, made by Modaco. And if you open that, you can go ahead and just install it and it works as any other cam camera application would. And if we go ahead and open it up, we can see my recording setup right there, um, some lights, and you can go ahead and just take a picture, you can take a video, uh, there's digital zoom, and I believe this is a panoramic mode, so you take one picture, then next, and it'll merge them all together. So it is a front-facing camera, so if you're holding it away from you, you can't see what you're taking, but if you hold it towards you if you want to take a picture of yourself it makes it very easy to do so so uh, no rear facing camera but there's now we do have a dedicated camera app if you go ahead and download that camera viewer so that's it guys thanks for watching and um, all my social links are in the description so you can go ahead and check that out and I will see you in my next video